heard you say Meet you in the long grass Something good at long last And we're away this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Sagittarius for the whole of July 2016. Now, there is a very intense first two weeks of July for you. It's all mysterious, it's magical, it's powerful, but you may have to confront issues within yourself that perhaps you would rather avoid. This new moon is in the area of power and powerlessness, charisma, obsession, intensity, and all sorts of primal emotions. Suddenly you may be aware of what's going on under the surface, but it's likely to be what's going on under the surface of you. It's very important that you tune into your intuition. There's a part of you that may be drawn to do something dangerous or exciting or taboo. It's quite interesting that um, your mind is going to be drawn to those areas and it may, you may feel as if suddenly you have an attraction to someone and it comes out of nowhere. Now having... That is my parrot knocking his seed onto the floor because I'm not giving him enough attention. Anyway, it may be that this new moon is just opening you up to things that have been going on in your unconscious that you weren't aware of. You are the sort of person that sometimes moves on from difficult situations or difficult emotions because you're very positive and optimistic. But right now, you'll certainly be talking about things that are very intense, particularly as the sun conjuncts Mercury on the 6th and then is in opposition to Pluto on the 7th. There may be discussions about power when it comes to money and you may be thinking of ways to transform your finance and it may be that there are some issues in the past that will come up to help resolve any issues you have with finance. On the 12th it gets a lot lighter as Venus, the planet of love, enters your position of adventure and there could be hot sex, romance, all sorts of unusual but kind of brilliant things happening when it comes to your love life you might decide to go on a journey with a lover a holiday or you might decide to do something interesting in or out of the bedroom which inspires you if you're single you'll find yourself being drawn to somebody very different from you or possibly from a different culture you're fascinated by learning and you're really speaking your mind as mercury also enters that position on the 14th with mercury conjunct venus on the 16th, if you're feeling something for someone, you'll find it very difficult not to tell them. You're open, you're wild, and you're free-spirited. The full moon on the 19th calms you down a little bit as it's in your position of security. You may have an intuition about what you need to do to transform your sense of security in the world. You may be thinking about how emotionally secure you feel. You may be given quite a nice little revelation on how you can secure be more secure in your life also it could be that someone from the past is coming up this month and wants to reconnect with you and um, you're also thinking about your security your stability and your worth not defined by other people but by defined by yourself have you been letting other people define you if so it stops now with Mercury and Venus trining Saturn in the first, it's a chance for you to begin something with solid roots and foundations. And the whole flavour of this month really is expansion and adventure, which are your two key words for your sign. Uranus is going retrograde. Some fun may appear with someone from the past, or you might start to do an activity or be creative in the way you were previously, and it may have a touch of genius about it. The next phase of the month at the very end of the month on the 31st you're going to start to switch to your career and having a much more serious month so make the most of this month's adventure and pleasure that awaits you but very important that you look at whatever shadows come up whatever primal emotions are poked take care and i'll speak to you soon If you like this, please come to my website where there's thousands of articles from Psychic to Soulmate and lots of free tarot readings, www.michellenight.com. And for all the written astrology of this month, week, or even day, go to horoscope.co.uk. Take care.